Hi, and welcome to All Fired Up. So this week we're going to be making ourselves a bell hook. So we've got ourselves here a paper pattern. Uh, we're going to be doing it the cut and weld method, rather than forging it out from one piece. And the reason we're doing this is because this is going to be a reenactment blade, um, and it's all about safety. So we've got blunt ends, that's the safety part. But we also need it to have the strength. So the bit that we're going to be welding on is going to be down here, this black line. And that's going to be to a piece of bar stock. This blade up here, we're going to make it out of a bandsaw blade. Um, and that will give us the strength. So, unfortunately, we've run into a snag. My generator is not powerful enough to run the air compressor and the plasma cutter at the same time. It's, um, it's one of the joys of being off-grid. You, know, you can't always do what you want to do. So we're going to revert to using a good old angle grinder. Now the angle grinder will run off the solar power as long as there's plenty of sun. And luckily today there is plenty of sun outside. Um, however, that means the project's going to be slowed down a little bit. It's going to take longer to cut it out. Um, joys of being off grid sometimes. Just a note on cutting around corners. It's okay to break it off into smaller segments. So I'm just changing my blade over. We'll cut it off there and then we'll cut it off there. So don't try and you can try and go round, but this radius here was a bit small for the size of disc that I'm using. So I have it roughly cut out now. So I'm going to hit it on the linisher and just smooth all the edges before we start putting the tapers in. Okay, so I've got the piece cleaned up around the outside. Also giving that an 80 grit sand. So this is what the steel looked like before the sand. So one of the side notes to think about is the material that you're selecting for the um, steel. So this is an old saw blade. And you'll see that it's got lots of pittings. If I can bring that on the camera. Which can leave a really cool effect. Um, this side hasn't got quite so much. But then there are some pieces with some bad pitting. Okay, so when we're making a weapon like this, we need to think about what do we want it like. So this one here, I've given it a, a, an 80 grit sand. And we've got most of the pitting out, there'll be a little bit. But as we uh, do the bevels, so along this line here, we're going to bevel that down to make a 2 mil edge. All the way around. And then we'll come back and we'll put in the shaft holder. So how I'm going to do the bevels... I'm going to use a 12 inch angle grinder with a 6 inch head on it. So this is a sanding head with a 60 grit sanding belt. But at the speed it runs at, it will give us about an 80 grit finish. This. I'm going to put in uh, a couple of screws there and there. And I'm going to hold this on the 45 and just go backwards and forwards along that line. Being careful not to go past that line with the tip. Bearing in mind that the tip of the sanding disc is quite worn. So I want to be working through that section there of the disc. So it just takes eye-hand coordination. Just take it slowly going back and forwards and you'll be right. Okay, 
Okay, so I've gone around with the, the first pass. And yeah, it's not looking too bad. So I've gone a little bit over my line there. So I'll be able to clean that up. And I need to get into here, but I'll use a different tool. As I was trying to, I nicked it a little bit deep in through here. So I need to watch that really carefully. Especially on the inside. Give you a show of the edge. So at the moment it's sitting about 2.5. So I'll do the same to the other side. And then we'll go back around the edge, giving the whole edge a smooth until we've got a 2mm edge. Going to leave the ends quite chunky. Because at the end of the day, it's going to hit somebody. And uh, you know, more material there, the better. So we're coming up to basically, how do we attach this to a piece of wood? So some people, uh, so the period way of doing this would be to have this piece here flared. So thin it out, flare it, rotate it. And then make a, basically a shaft that comes around and put a rivet through the back. For this, we want it to look a little bit different. Um, and a little bit easier. So we're going to use a welding method. So I've got myself a little template. So we want the shaft to be a 35mm um, shaft. Coming up to a piece like that. So we have to take this flat piece of steel and turn it into a half round piece of steel. Then we'll have two of these, one for each side, then run a weld down this side and down this side, as well as welding on to the head. And that should give us, um, and then we'll come back and we'll cut it to length. So I've got my swage block here, what we're going to do is start the piece. I'm going to start it on that one and we'll move it on to the, the next one up, next one up, next one up, next one up. And that will give us a nice round curve. Bow hook. Okay, so it's sitting nice and flat. We want it to just open up it just a little bit more at the top. We want it to go over half of the weapon. And it goes like that. So I've welded it up on both sides. The next stage is to clean the weld and get it all prepped to go onto the shaft. All right, we're up to the welding stage. So we've got it fitting quite nicely. A little bit of gap. Okay, just something else to take note is I've beveled the edges here so that, that the weld pull will be thicker just through there. All right, so the welds have come out quite nice. Quite happy with that. So I'm just in the process is of cleaning up the weapon. And then we'll go around, get out all these marks, will be the next thing. Go around making sure that all the edges are legal. Um, and finishing it off. All right, the weapon is done. Came out quite nice. I'm quite happy with the welding. Try and get it in focus so there's not too much glint. So I've hit it with a Rylox disc. And then a wire buff just to finish it off. So it's sitting at just over a gram of weight. In fact, let's get the scales and put it on and find out. So this is uh, ready for the client to shaft. 
yeah, no, it's a nice little project. It's been interesting. Uh, so we've got a nice uh, two mil edge all the way around. Um, plus, you know, if he wants to sharpen up and use it as a real one, it's more than able to. So um, with all the weapons I make and with all the armor I make, um, I offer a year guarantee. So um, hopefully the client will be very happy. So thank you everyone for watching All Fired Up and uh, we'll see you next week.